Hey there, welcome back to this playlist on Tosca 2024. We have been talking about all the different new features which has been introduced uh, into the latest version of Tosca. But there are also some T-Box modules which has been updated and uh, some new features has been included uh, to help us achieve more from this T-Box modules. So let's look at uh, one of this T-Box module which is uh, the T-Box Take Screenshot. Now this uh, Take Screenshot is an old module. We know that we can use this to capture a screenshot on our device. But now a lot of different features has been introduced. Uh, especially you can uh, now take screenshot from your desktop uh, or from your mobile device or from your browser. You can also uh, select what type of screen you want. Uh, either the active monitor or the active window or you can capture everything and uh, on top of this uh, you can also capture uh, screenshots from multiple screens so if your uh, desktop is connected to different screens then you can uh, either take screenshot of one of the screens or you can take screenshot of all the screens so let's see uh, what are the changes to this module and uh, how we can still use this to capture screenshots from uh, different devices or from different places. So as always, uh, you need to be on um, the latest version of Tosca, uh, which is at least 2024.1 in order to be able to use this particular module. So let's go to our particular workspace, which we have been working on. And then uh, we will go ahead and create a test case here. So we have been working with this 2024 features folder and uh, I will continue to work on this. So now we are going to call this test case take screenshot and inside this we will add a test step. So we'll search for a screenshot and then we will add this and you will see there are a lot more module attributes compared to the previous module if you have used it previously. So uh, let's go through each of these module attribute and let's try to understand what are these uh, have and what are the different options which are available with these attributes. So the first one is environment. Now this is where you define uh, whether you want to take a screenshot of your desktop or a mobile device or a browser. So all of these three options are available here. So we can choose desktop, mobile or browser. The next is a uh, storage location type. Now here also we have got different options. Uh, we have got option for Tosca. We have got option for local and then we have got option for Tosca and local. So what do you mean um, by the option Tosca is uh, it will use the Tracentis file service. Now this is a server related feature. So uh, it will store it in a database if you are using uh, the Tracentis file service. If you want to store it in your local, you can use this. If you want to store it at both the places, then you can use this. Then uh, there is the directory. So this is the local path to save the screenshot to uh, in your local directory. And then uh, we have got the file name. So this is the file name of the screenshot. Uh, you don't need to include the um, extension here okay and then uh, we have got the select screen now in select screen uh, we have also got uh, different options so as you can see uh, there is the active monitor there is the active window there is everything and then you can also choose uh, the number of the monitor so if you are connected to different monitors then uh, you can choose either the active monitor or you can choose the first or the second monitor if you are um, if you are connected to more than that then you can also choose the other numbers or if you want to capture everything uh, at one go then you can choose everything so these are the module attributes uh, now some of them are not mandatory so the storage location type uh, is optional so if you don't specify this particular attribute, then uh, Transcendus Tosca will use the storage path which you have defined in the screenshot directory. And then uh, the directory is also optional. Again, uh, it will be captured from the settings if you don't define it. Uh, so these two um, are basically 
the two optional fields and then the file name uh, the format of the image uh, will again be captured from the settings so let's see where this setting is and uh, if you want to change anything you can change it in this settings so once we go to uh, settings so inside the t-box we have got logging and then inside this we have got the screenshots so here you can see um, the first option is whether you want to take screenshot on failed test steps uh, then we have got the screenshot directory so this is the default directory if you don't specify anything it will save it to this directory then uh, there is the image format right so we have got different image formats here and uh, you can choose whichever image format you want to uh, choose and save your screenshot as um, and then here also we have got the select screen option so we can choose right from here as well so select screen uh, in that attribute is also an optional attribute if you don't specify anything then it will pick it from here so this settings will always be your default uh, setting values which will be picked up by the module so let's go back and uh, let's try out a few things here right so now we can capture screenshot not only from our desktop but also from our browser right so uh, let's choose this uh, as a browser and then uh, let's choose the storage location type as local and uh, the directory i can choose a particular directory so it is c training screenshots this is the folder i want to select and then um, the file name i can specify a file name here so i can say browser i don't need to specify uh, the extension it will be picked from the settings and then uh, in select screen i can say the active window okay so here you can see uh, my browser uh, the swag labs um, demo website is open so if i run this it should take a screenshot of the browser so let's go ahead and run this now okay and then uh, let's go to that particular folder and here we will go to c training and then screenshots so here you will see uh, it will append uh, this particular file with um, the date and time a value so that you don't have the same file again and again when you run this particular module so it is not going to overwrite your previous file uh, it will always be a new file and if I open this uh, you will see that it has captured only the browser not the desktop so now uh, if I go ahead and change this to desktop it is going to capture the whole desktop right and uh, let's rename this to desktop and let's change this to active monitor and now what i will do i will minimize this browser so that it captures the desktop and i run this and now you can see that's created another file and uh, this is the desktop so anything which is running on the desktop will be captured here right uh, similarly if uh, you are running any application uh, in your desktop and you want to capture a screenshot then you can use the option desktop if you are working with mobile uh, test cases then you can also use mobile here and then uh, if you are connected to multiple monitors uh, you can choose everything and it should capture all the screenshots of all your monitors connected to your desktop so this is useful when you are running your test cases in multiple devices um, and browsers or if you are running a desktop uh, application or if you are running with multiple monitors so now this particular module caters to all the use cases previously it was just uh, focusing on one particular uh, screenshot which was for the desktop that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video